Hey everyone, it's Sky from Arthritis Athlete here. So today's video is gonna be a lot less formal, not scripted at all, I'm not reading off of anything. Um, it's just gonna be more vlog style. So I've had several people asking me for things like what I eat in a day type videos, and those are coming eventually, I promise, just stay tuned. Uh, this is actually gonna be a what I didn't eat in a day. Psych! <laughs> I've went through some of the science of fasting on some other videos on my channel, like is it safe, how long should you do it, should you do a juice fast or water fast, so check out some of my other videos if you want to know more about that. Also nutritionfacts.org, who I'm sure a lot of people who watch my channel are familiar with that, they're actually doing a series of the science of fasting right now, so go ahead and check that out if you want to know more about it. But really this is just going to be a vlog style video, I haven't done many of those on my channel, so I'm just going to get used to it, so let's start, why not? <laughs> Now before we get into things, I just want to let you know a little background. Now I don't recommend fasting for the average person who has no pre-existing health conditions because I'm not a doctor and most people just don't have a good enough reason to actually do it. So don't go telling somebody, oh I saw this guy on YouTube do it so it's gotta be good for me, right? No, don't do that. <laughs> Don't be stupid, be a smarty. The reason I do it is because if you couldn't tell by the name of this channel, I have a form of spinal arthritis called ankylosing spondylitis. It's an autoimmune condition and it can really ruin people's lives. And through a whole foods plant-based diet with some other modifications and other lifestyle practices like exercise, stress management, and other spiritual practices, I've really been able to kind of reverse the condition and live a very normal and awesome life. And part of the way I keep it under control is just every two months or so, I try to do a one day long fast. It actually ends up being about 36 hours because I go the night before and then the whole day. I definitely don't go something like 35 days like some people would. If you've been around my channel for a while, you probably knew who I'm talking about. But I really just do it to stay fresh and on top of my condition and I figured since I'm feeling a little extra stiff today, why not today? So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I've never really shot a vlog style video before, so we'll just have to see how it goes. All right, let's go. All right, so I just got done with some of my stretching, just really loosened up nice and well. And would you believe it, I got out here to go on a walk and it is snowing. There's snow everywhere and it's October. Unbelievable. <laughs> also, just breaking the fourth wall a little bit with you guys. I'm recording this on Halloween, which probably makes this idea even weirder because <laughs> doing a fast on Halloween just seems like, why would you do that to yourself? But uh. You know, I don't really eat candy anyway, so it's not really a big deal for me. Also, check this out. So it's real cold out, right? I've got my hat, I've got my gloves, I've got my coat, but watch this. Whoop! I'm rocking shorts. <laughs> I mean, you might call me stupid, but uh, I don't know, man. My legs just don't get that cold whenever I'm walking out here. And it's really not terribly cold. It's only like 30 degrees. Some of you Californians who watch my videos are going to be like, Oh, only 30 degrees? Yup, 30 degrees. Sometimes I feel stupid, man. You stupid. Oh, now I just gotta wait for some hater to take that out of context and be like, huh, yeah, you are stupid. Be my guest, take that out of context if you must. So some of you might be asking yourself, Sky, why are you out walking when it's so darn cold and there's snow on the ground? Um, and I don't really have a good answer to that. I just like walking. That's my good answer, I like it. It's just really nice being out in nature, getting a little bit of blood flowing, even if it's a little, you know, even if it's a little cold outside. Like seriously, check this out, man. This is one of my favorite places to go walking. It's really pretty. I love this. You know, just rambling a bit here, I've always wondered if the seasons and the temperature actually affect any type of joint pain. I feel like if they did, I really would have noticed by now, but I mean, I feel like sometimes in the winter I feel stiffer, but that just might be because of other factors, I don't really know. Um, if anybody has any information on that, please send it to me. I haven't seen any studies on that. I haven't seen any type of information on that. I'd really be interested to know though. You know, I wonder if the change in humidity has to do anything with it, or maybe the, the air pressure is lower or higher. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just rambling. You know, this is really kind of enjoyable, just kind of documenting my thoughts while I'm out walking. I have a lot of really interesting thoughts while I'm out walking. Maybe I'll have to turn this into something that I do regularly on the channel. Maybe make it into a little bit of a Q&A or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'll do what you guys want me to do.
Another thing I'm doing while I'm out here is actually brainstorming about my next video. Uh, it's actually about team trees and fake environmentalism. Uh, stay tuned for that. I think it's a good one. So you want to know something kind of cool. I actually just discovered this trail that I just walked on just a few months ago and man is it awesome out here. And you know while I was walking out here, check this out. Whoop, I just went around the long way. don't know why I did that. But look at this house out here. It's just one house out in the middle of nowhere just after this long winding trail. It's beautiful out here. <laughs> Such a cool property out here. I just, I've lived here my whole life and I've never even known about this little back area in the woods. Awesome. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna call it good right here. I'm gonna turn back and go the other way and I'll give you a quick montage and I'll see you guys at the house. All right, so we're back from a nice walk and uh, it's time for lunch, as some might call it. It's just like you spend a lot of time thinking about food, much more than you might realize. I mean, our whole life is kind of geared around food in a sense. I mean, food literally is life. It's life-giving, it's life-sustaining. But it's just nice to take a little hiatus from that every once in a while and kind of clear your mind. It's sort of meditative in a way, so. Anyway, next up on my agenda, well, I don't really have an agenda. It's kind of a pretty chill day, uh, but I'm gonna take a nice, hot, relaxing bath, and then I'm gonna gear up to teach some piano lessons. And yes, if you guys don't know, I am a music teacher. That's part of my, it's my part-time job. I have another part-time job, and we'll actually get to that later. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. So Elijah, say hi to the camera. Bye. So he's practicing Megalovania from Undertale. Some of you guys might know this. First two measures in four four. Do you notice that? Yeah. Two, two, three, dun, dun, dun. Nice. Yeah. But whenever you play it later on, you can kind of, if you were playing this just for your friends, you could do kind of whatever you wanted with it. Uh, e F E D. That sounds weird to me. So I'm just like, oh. See, that kind of totally changes the feel of the whole thing just by changing one note. It's what I think is music is so cool. You can take a minor chord and it sounds so. Sound kind of scary and spooky. I mean, it's Halloween, kind of fitting. But if we just change that E flat to an E, you get that nice major kind of sound. It's just one note. All right, so I just got done teaching my lessons, and since it's Halloween, I'm actually going to something called Trunk or Treat. It's actually an event that our church puts on each year. Uh, it's basically where everybody comes in with their cars and they open up their trunks, they decorate them like all fancy and spooky and Halloweeny, and uh, we hand out candy to a bunch of kids in the community. It's a, it's a really awesome event and it's really fun. So yeah, whenever I said I had another part-time job earlier, this is it. I'm actually a, a worship leader, so I'm kind of like the music guy at our church, um, but I'm also kind of obligated to do other things, so I don't really feel obligated. It's just fun. It's just fun. I like going to it. I like doing it. So I'll see you there. Okay, so about the trunk or treat thing, funny story, uh, my phone died as soon as I got there. My phone's been doing this really weird thing to where when I charge it, it's at 100% and then that lasts a really long time, but when it gets down to like 60, 50 or 60, it's like, just to have like 10 minutes of battery left and it just dies. <laughs> so uh, I, I should have known better, I should have charged my phone before I got there. It was a really cool event, I wish I could talk to you guys about it, but uh, you know, it, it's just hard to explain that type of event if you weren't there, so. But it was really, it was really cool. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm outside, it's actually because, well, the best lighting is here. But I do have a little bit of a confession to make. I could just play this off like it never happened. I don't think anybody would care, nobody would know. It really doesn't matter. But, you know, on this channel, I wanna keep it 100 with you guys. I wanna keep it nice and truthful because, you know, honesty is the best policy. Yep, I came home and I totally caved. I just said, yeah, you know what, screw it. So I came home and I ate some chili. I could make any number of excuses, but hey, I just kinda wasn't feeling it. I came home and my mom made some bomb chili. Oh my gosh, my mom's chili is fire. I couldn't pass it up. And hey, if you guys are interested in seeing an actual fasting vlog of mine, I did a little bit of something like that earlier on my channel, maybe a month or two ago. Uh, the t video of the title is something like, Fasting for Chronic Pain, Does It Work? Uh, if you actually want to see me complete a fast, you can go there and watch that. But hey, think about it like this. All you people who are asking for a what I eat in a day type video, eh, you got one. You're welcome. <laughs> in all seriousness, I will be making a what I eat in a day video soon. How soon is soon? I don't know. 
but we'll see. But hey, maybe those types of videos will become kind of a mainstay on these channels. We'll just kind of have to see how you guys enjoy it and what the response is. All right, and the last way we usually end off our day, me and my sister, is we actually read some Bible chapters. Yes, remember it is Halloween, so she's dressed like that. Bree, do you have anything you want to say? No. No? What kind of answer is that? <laughs> but yeah, so sister reveal, hashtag comment of if you want to see more videos of her in the future. I have some ideas. We'll see. All right, so it's actually the next day, and while the fast didn't go over so well, I hope you at least enjoyed seeing a little bit more of the personal side of my life. It was kind of just a day off, I didn't really have much to do, so I just kind of let you guys in on some of it. And about the whole fasting thing, I wasn't really that committed to it, because uh, being honest with you guys, I really just felt like I had to do something in this vlog that was like, oh, I gotta catch your attention, but... At the end of the day, I just wanted to kind of get some vlog content done so I could get used to it. So I hope you guys at least enjoyed this. I hope it was at least mildly entertaining. Are you not entertained? And be sure to leave a comment to make sure you let me know how you actually enjoy this content. It's kind of fun to do, uh, so I'll do it if you guys want me to keep doing it. Um, I'm thinking those what I eat in a day style videos are probably going to be the most requested. Uh, so be expecting one of those, but just for the near future. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Be sure to leave me some feedback about what you want to see more of in these types of videos and what you would like to see less of in these types of videos. That way I can really refine it to my specific audience and really give you guys what you want. And it should go without saying, but thank you so much for watching. As always, if you got any value out of this video, please consider adding value back to my channel by liking, commenting, and hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell icon next to it. That really helps my channel out a lot. All right, and with that, I'll see you guys soon, and God bless.